Hello everyone and welcome to AutoCAD AutoList tutorial lesson 1 on my channel. In the lesson 1, we are going to cover these are the topics. Benefits of AutoLisp, Visual Lisp Editor, Rules of Writing AutoLisp Code, AutoLisp Data Type, Real Integer String, Mathematics with AutoLisp, Set Q Function, Set Variable Values, Introduction and use of Diffin and List functions with data type and we are going to make our first code of AutoLisp. So let's start with uh, benefits of AutoLisp. When you start with the AutoLisp, the first question coming in your mind is why should I use AutoLisp and what, what is the AutoLisp? AutoLisp is basically a programming language which used to customize AutoCAD day-to-day -day work and let's go with the uh, second topic which is visual lisp editor so how to open visual lisp editor so you just have to go to your you have to just start your autocad and go to manage in there you will find visual lisp editor you just have to simply click on it and you will find this type of window in it. So this is the Visual Lisp console in the Visual Lisp editor. So let we will start our first code or we will start our learning in the Visual Lisp console because in the beginning time I prefer to use Visual Lisp console to, because you will get uh, all the answer after you enter all your uh, functions in the visual lisp console so there are other ways to use or to make your code you can write your code in the notepad also you just have to write your code and save it save as at as a dot lsp file and you can load that lsp file in the autocad this is how you can use your uh, code in the autocad Let's go to topic number three, which is rule of writing AutoLisp code. There are uh, uh, some rules to write your AutoLisp code. The first rule is your code always start with the open print and it should close with the close print. So if you have open two prints, then it should close with true pens like this so this is how your code will be completed okay so this is the one rule the second rule is make sure you are not giving the same name of your command which are already in the autocad for example we have command which called line command in the autocad so you have to just type L or you have to type line command in the AutoCAD. So it will start a line command in the AutoCAD. So whenever you are giving command uh, name to your code, make sure that command name is not already exist in the AutoCAD command. So this is the second rule. And the third rule is Whenever you are giving any uh, variable name or you are setting any variable, we will discuss what is the variable and how you can set the variable in the auto lisp. But you just have to make sure that variable name is also not exist in the auto lisp. So just take an example. We have one, one function called define function. This is the function. So you have to just take care that you are not giving the same name to any of your uh, command or any of your variable name. Now let's go with our next topic, which is AutoLisp data type, real integer and string. So what is real, what is integer and what is string? String is basically a word which which is like uh, you, you can take it as a 
um, apple apple is one word which is string so you can write any type of uh, alphabet alphabetic or numerical words in the string but whenever you are giving a string you just you have uh, you always have to write in the semicolon so in this whatever you will write let's say i am taking as a uh, one two three four five these are the numbers but you have written in the semicolon so it will always act as a string okay so it is one word not numbers okay so this is the string now what is integer integer is simply any type of number without decimal so if you are taking 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are all these all are the uh, integers in the same way you can take it as a minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 5 minus 4 minus 5 so these all are integers because it do not have decimals and what is real value real number or real value so anything any number is written with a decimal it will act as a real number let's say 5.0 so this will act as a real number so what is the difference between integer and real value so for that i am just giving you one small example let's divide 5 uh, by 2 so first of all you have to just use divide key after that you have to type 5 and you have to divide by 2 so you just have to type 2 and close with close parent so when you will enter it it will give you answer of 2 because this 5 value which is you have written it is integer and integer value always written with the integer and it will not written any type of decimal value right so in the same way if you will use divide 5.0 by 2 and close your parent and after that you just have to enter it so you will find it's giving the real value of 5 so this is the difference between uh, integer and real value